Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes, and in the in the previous tutorial, uh, we created code uh, where we can add new tasks, and here we have a list of tasks uh, that are being shown on the on the home page. If I click home, and these are the tasks that are listed. Now, when we click the tasks, we get an error. That's because that task is item number one. So we need a route that is called item and that will grab the number which is the ID number of our task in the database. Here is our database. There's item one, the first task, item two. So we need to add an item route in our server file. Okay, so the way we do that is we create a new route. So we go at route forward slash item and then we add item colon re square bracket zero two nine plus greater than okay so we create a function or we'll define a function so so underscore underscore task show me what the task is and we now have a variable item and we have a variable which is an integer right our item is re a number and that is item that is our variable okay so in there we go to do id equals item okay so now we need to connect to our database so we just copy this code here copy that we connect to the database and then we go cur execute Okay, and we go select all that's all the data in a row from our to do table where ID equals question mark that's our item comma parentheses another one to close that statement and we go to do ID and then we go record equals cursor fetch one okay so we fetch one record you go to do or td title equals record one we already have the ID that's the title T description okay just to make things easier it's confusing why did I do that description equals record and we know that that will be number two and then T 
date equals convert date equals date time time strip time record three that's our date time in the record and in here we go percent year that's the full year dash the month dash the day space and we go percent capital H percent capital M colon capital S dot SF I don't really need to do that with the F but we'll yep I'll put it on there anyway go dot STRF time A small d capital whoops that's a small b it should be a capital b then y percent i percent m percent p Just double check that. Convert equals convert date equals date time date time strip time record three Y lowercase M lowercase D uh, seconds STR dot STRF time yep A D capital B Y I know that's year. So I am P. Okay. So I think that is the name of the day, the date, the month name, the full year. I think that's hour, minute and this means AM PM instead of 24 hour time don't quote me on that okay so then we go if not record if there is no record return this item number does not exist exclamation mark oh, horror okay there we go close database that's the connection then we go up here else or else output equals templates equals no template item TPL then we go T where are we
equals that, comma, T description, that equals that, comma, TD date, T date, I should say, equals that. Then we go do ID equals to do do ID return output close the database if there is no uh, item and then after the return there returning the data you close the database there also one or the other okay so that should then show us the items Okay, so I'll save that go back here go back yep so on the home page and if I click that item item 1 what's going on here okay uh, invalid syntax so go back here invalid Ah, uh, didn't put the quotes. Save that. Refresh. Yeah, that's because we've lost the connection of the server because we should have had quotes in there. So, up arrow on the keyboard. Right, so it's the previous code, Python server, run it. Is there an error? No, it's working. Refresh. There we go. We refresh it, hit task. Item 1 caused an error. Yeah, what about here? Item 1 caused an error. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the tutorial there and continue on with the next one. Once I found what the problem is, I will let you know. Okay, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes. If you have any comments or any questions relating to this tutorial, and I'm sure you will be asking me, what went wrong, Daryl? Why didn't it work? I'll let you know. Okay, as I said, leave a comment or any questions that you may have so we can share that knowledge with other people who also look at this tutorial. Uh, they may have the same question and if you ask it, you'll be the first one with the question and I'll answer that question for you and those who come and have a look at this tutorial. So till the next tutorial, goodbye.